Okay, uh, so I wanted to do a little troubleshooting <laughs> with the NOLO because the NOLO VR, because the NOLO VR, uh, there's a lot of issues, um, mostly related to software, but some of it is related to hardware such as the USB cable that is included, and there's not much you can do with the USB cable because it's just too damn heavy for the headset marker here. They included something that's about the same size as a plug you would put in the wall, and it's just too damn heavy, and it, it kind of moves it around and, and disconnects. So really all you can do with that is kind of wrap it around here uh, and kind of put a loop in it to stop it from, to, or to try to stop it from disconnecting. But unfortunately, you can't completely stop it from disconnecting. The only other option is to take the headset marker and plug it into your either your phone or your gear vr now um luckily the um the uh what is it the the nolos uh you know you well on cardboard not on gear vr just yet until it's updated on cardboard you no longer need the uh the drivers in the mix the nolo drivers are no longer needed because uh, Vridge and uh, what's the other one? Ivy on iOS support Nolo directly, so you don't have to run the drivers anymore. As long as you're on the beta, you can get direct support and you don't have to worry about the stupid, crappy drivers. Um, they released an SDK for the developers to allow them to support it directly and make their own drivers and everything else, so that's a very good thing. Huh. Okay, so. Now, that's another thing. So if you're having problems with that cable disconnecting, you can now use this fully wirelessly. So that's a really good thing. So it's like kind of like having an HTC Vive and wireless, except for, of course, it's not as good as an HTC Vive, unless, I don't know, unless the simplicity is a little better to you, which I kind of think it is for me. But that's the thing. So now you can plug your your headset marker into your phone or say the bottom of your gear vr where the usb port is and it should send as long as they update the gear vr app it should send the the connection from the the marker wirelessly to your pc but that only works if you're connected through wi-fi and not usb tethering because you're blocking up the usb ports that you have available to you and there's no way to do usb tethering that way um but if you want all wireless it works that way and it's great because i was able to do vr in my living room while not being right next to my pc and i didn't have any wires in the living room floor so it was really cool that you could not have those wires in the way because that's annoying okay so there's one issue that i had that drove me nuts and I know it drives other people nuts, and I found out how to fix it by accident. And there was one issue where you're in the floor. <laughs> you start off and you're in the floor, and why the hell are you in the floor? Uh, and how the hell do you get yourself uh, calibrated properly and centered so you're not in the floor? Okay, so you're gonna wanna take this headset marker. And now, if you're just using an Android app, all you have to do is take the headset marker, have it on your headset, Put, the, the, put it on the floor and press the sync button and that will center your, um, your view properly. So it basically tells the headset marker, this is the floor. And then when you raise it up, you will no longer be in the floor. <laughs> um, so there's that. Uh, and if you are using like a lot of people, something like Vridge or Ivy to play PC VR. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you run the room setup um, after, it, just so long as you did, you know, if you set your height in the room setup to your actual height while doing the room setup, you're going to wanna make sure that you redo it and set it to zero and yeah, so if you set it to zero while it's on the floor and then press the sync button while you're on the floor again, then you won't be 
like having it be in the floor. So the thing is when, when you do that, if you, sorry, if you set it to your height while you're standing and everything, and then your this isn't calibrated properly, but it, you end up having like the controllers, the controllers will be above your head and all this weird shit. So make sure that this is on the floor. You press the sync button and then run the room set up while your, your headset is in the middle of the floor and just click through it. Just r click right through it. Don't change the height or anything. Just click, click, click. You'll be done and it should be calibrated correctly. Also, another thing is sometimes these look like this when you're in VR, even though you're pointing this way. Make sure that you are pointing directly at the base station, which I did not bring over here. Um, so point that directly at the base station and then double tap these, this button here. And once you double tap that, it should center properly. I've had some times where it didn't, but most of the times if you point it directly at the, uh, the base station, it should center correctly. If you point it elsewhere, Normally it will, it will start doing weird shit like this and this and all this other stuff, but you got to point it directly at the base station. Um, so that's that. Uh, so I've had a lot of issues. Um, I'm trying to remember all of them. Those were some of the big ones I've had. Also, there's a way to do it on the Gear VR to do wireless, um, wire, everything wireless, but it involves uh, virtual here. And if you've done that, you, and you may be experiencing some issues like random button presses, that's, that's the problem with virtual here that you're having. This happened to me, it only happens to me when I use virtual here. I don't know why that happens, but it is an issue with virtual here. So if you're having any experience with random button presses and screenshots and things, that's a problem with using virtual here. Um, so hopefully... You can get the, uh, the update for the, the Gear VR version, the beta version. You have to be in the, the beta. So you can be in the beta and get that update, at, hopefully. And then you can use everything wireless without having those issues. Hopefully. Um, so I'm trying to think of any other issues that may have occurred. Oh, um, there are also some updates. Uh, as you, you may know, if you are an owner of this and you've tried it out, there's issues with throwing things. So velocity is not, this is, doesn't, uh, I guess, equate for a velocity or something yet, but hopefully there will be a firmware update soon. I know the developers have apparently mentioned it and they're working on it and there should be an update for the controllers, so like a firmware update for the controllers and whatever hardware that needs to be updated. And then Hopefully, eventually, then the, velos the velocity will be supported so you can throw things properly. So that's that. Um, the normal things, of course, is... is blah, 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 blah. Sorry, I took some Benadryl. I'm a little tired right now. But uh, there are some issues like just make sure that the, the you know, base station is in a good spot, that, uh, you know... You don't have reflective surfaces. Maybe if you have a mirror behind you or something or some kind of glass that's reflecting, it could cause tracking issues. Um, try to keep the uh, headset, uh, the base station around shoulder length, which they've mentioned. Uh, I've, tr I've put it higher and got th almost full 360 tracking, but then I couldn't reach the floor. Also, the, head the ceiling mount is very buggy and I wouldn't recommend using it it doesn't work right, and I think they're working on a proper solution to 360 tracking, so hopefully that gets implemented. I know somebody's talking about using the uh, Kinect, but we don't all have a Kinect, and I'm not going to run out and buy a Kinect for that. And yeah, I don't, wanna, I don't want a convoluted setup. I like the idea of a simple, easy-to-use setup, so I don't want to include a Kinect and all this other crap. Um, so, yeah... I'm trying to think here. Just some little smaller things that uh, you you could do to enhance your experience here. I don't have it all figured out, but I'm trying. Um, oh, 
couple things. Don't use the, uh, oh, actually one thing. Okay, my camera cut off because it only likes 10 minute videos. Um, don't use the USB cable that they include to connect your cell phone to your, uh, to your headset marker or to your, your headset marker to the Gear VR because it's way too fucking short. Even though it can go in, there's too much pressure. Mine broke off inside my Gear VR. So do not use that cable. They really should have included a longer cable, but they cheaped out on that. They could have made the cable that goes to the headset marker from your PC lighter so that it would actually work right and then put that money into, you know, a little longer cable for the headset marker, but they didn't do that. So they did everything kind of ass backwards in that way. Um, so yeah. I would recommend against using that cable because after a little while of using it, it snapped off inside the USB port of my Gear VR. I got it out and everything works except that cable, <laughs> but that, that sucked. <laughs> um, outside of that, <coughs> some of the software issues that I can't really help you out with except for tell you to reboot your, <coughs> oh God, your computer. Um, there are I, issues that I've had are the software crashing, unfortunately. I have no clue why the, the software on the phone side and the server side uh, both crash. Uh, the PC side, whatever. Uh, they both crash a lot, and a lot of times I have to reboot and reboot until everything seems to work right. That's one of my, now one of my biggest pains in the ass is right now is getting the software to, to stabilize and not crash. Um, when you, you know, when you try to stream. I'm not sure how it works with Ivory. I like the idea of Ivory because you don't need a, an actual software on your computer. It just works, apparently, so. But I know with Ridge, Ridge seems to crash a lot for me. So. And it causes, I think, the app on the, on the, on the phone to crash. So I'm hoping that gets worked on. But like I said, the good thing, some of the good news is that uh, we no longer need the NOLO drivers to use um, your Gear VR. Yeah, you no longer need the NOLO drivers to use the Gear v uh, to use the uh, NOLO. Hey, <sighs> for the love of God. Yeah, you don't need that, really, uh, unless you're using the Gear VR for now. But you're good. That's good. Everything's fine. Uh, so, I'm going to do another NOLO video soon. Like, tonight and stuff. So, thank you for watching.